A favorite pastime when the weather's frightful is snuggling up for holiday movies. Here's Idea to Cantor's must-watch list for 2021. Now, when it comes to Christmas traditions, it's hard to beat the Scandinavians. When I want to curl up for some cozy time, nothing says Huga more than the adventure, fantasy, horror movie, rare exports. Enjoy some traditional gingerbread while you cuddle with your loved ones and watch as they unearth an ancient Santa Claus that will make you re-examine if you're on the naughty list or not. This one is rated R for some violence and male nudity, so put those toddlers or sensitive teens to bed early. My holiday pick this year is Home Alone 2. And I know you're thinking, Taylor, Home Alone 2, why not Home Alone? Well, there's three reasons. Number one, Tim Curry. Number two, a large cheese pizza all to himself in a limousine. And number three, the talk boy. I love the talk boy so much that I made my mom get me one for Christmas that year. So add this pick to your holiday watch list this year. If you need to cut your holiday cheer with some twisted humor this season, check out Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. It takes me two hours to watch this 88 minute movie because I have to keep pausing to recover from laughing hysterically. In this low budget, campy Christmas slasher, the killer shows you how deranged he is by vigorously moving his eyebrows up and down as he delivers literally all of his lines. One of which is garbage day, now immortalized as an internet meme. So take out the trash, pour yourself some eggnog, and get ready for the finest eyebrow acting you'll ever see. Ah, uh, if you're truly looking for the cinematic masterpiece of Christmas movies, then look no further than How the Grinch Still Christmas. A tale of a green Mr. Grinch as he journeys down into Whoville to steal Christmas away. Uh, this 1966 animation is truly the only way to enjoy Christmas movies. Honestly though, anyone who disagrees is simply a Grinch. Cheers. Honestly, if you don't quote Christmas Vacation at least 10 times before Christmas, I'm not sure I trust you. It's one of my all-time favorite movies, probably year-round. Um, I think I identify with how things can go just so spectacularly and ridiculously wrong, but you make the most of it. And there are so many laughs along the way. Um, I'd tell you my favorite line, but it's probably not safe for work. Anyway, enjoy. Happy holidays. Wait, I was gonna say Christmas vacation. Thanks, Tracy. I do, however, have a close runner up. Can you guess? I believe what makes Will Ferrell's performance in Elf so great is that it makes my 10-year-old daughter feel super uncomfortable. She calls it cringy. And who doesn't like making their kids feel a little cringy this time of the year? So grab your remote, stream some of the festive movies that we have queued up, and have yourself a very happy holiday.